if you go to this year's Whitney Biennial and take it as a gauge of the contemporary art market, you would never guess that one thing still holds true. For the vast majority of galleries, it's painting that sells the most. I was thinking of this when I saw a picture by Elizabeth Payton. Painting wasn't very fashionable when she came on the scene about 18 years ago, so her choice of medium made people think that there must be some saving irony to her work. She painted small, she painted in a slapdash manner, she painted figures from history, but in a half-remembered way. All of this must mean that she works conceptually, flourishing her brush with a wry smile on her face. This picture, called John Lennon 1964, is a good example of her work. The title certainly suggests that Peyton wanted to apply a gloss of cool to a depiction that could in fact be of anyone. Take the title away, though, and you're left with a painting that is as delicate as something by Dufy or Matisse. There's not much to it, but it's all worth looking at, from the different kinds of brush marks to the contrasts of dripping and solid pigment and the intense vibrations of the different shades of carmine, rose, and madder. Like the best painters, ultimately Peyton does it not because it looks cool or because she thinks it will sell. She does it mostly because she likes painting. <laughs>